Trust New Art is a, a three-year partnership programme between the Arts Council England and the National Trust to bring contemporary art into the historic properties and also the landscape owned and managed by the National Trust. So it was set up in 2009 to run through to 2012 initially, but we very much hope it will continue beyond that. Uh, as an experiment really, just to see how contemporary art can be brought into these historic settings um, and sort of animate the offer really that the National Trust can give to its uh, familiar customer base, but also to new people who might be attracted to National Trust properties on the basis of the fact of there being contemporary art to experience there. So from the National Trust point of view, we're aware that we're not a contemporary art organisation, we're a conservation charity, but we see obviously there's a massive audience for contemporary art. Equally for the Arts Council, they see that we're a large organisation that gets millions, tens of millions of visits per year to our paid entry property, estimated over 100 million visits to our free to access land. So actually to put art in those settings clearly can create a very large audience and not your usual audience for contemporary art. And also it's a really fantastic opportunity for artists to work in really rich historical uh, context. It's not just about the physical architecture of the spaces, um, but it's also about um, the histories behind them. I think for me, Susie McMurray's piece, Promenade at Kettleston, really captured what Trust New Art is all about. Susie spent a lot of time at Kettleston really getting to understand the spirit of place and know about the history in the house. There are a number of exhibitions that are going to take place in 2011. One that's about to open is House of Beasts, which is curated by Meadow Arts at Attingham Park in Shropshire. It struck me that this is just such a really wonderful place for contemporary art. The mansion is a work of art in its own right. We've got a fantastic collection, a fantastic art collection, but we're not particularly known for that. Um, and by working with Meadow Arts and putting contemporary art into the landscape, that sort of woke up our audience, if you like. I had um, noticed that at Attingham there were lots of different touches all relating to, to animals. For House of Beasts I've approached Tessa Farmer and she works with taxidermy but also very much with just little twigs and making these exquisite really, really small scenes. The swan that we see here is uh, Daphne Wright's uh, sculpture. We have actually commissioned that work. All the antlers came from Attingham and they were either the product of the cull or of natural shedding. By working with Meadow Arts and suddenly these huge contemporary art sculptures appearing in the landscape, it's something you're having, there's in really interesting dialogues and debates with your visitors about what we should be doing as custodians of the property, how are we spending their money, is a contemporary art a, a, an appropriate thing for the trust to do, should we be doing it in a triple SI and a listed landscape and so suddenly all these debates and discussions started and it, it was a really fascinating thing to do, it was really fascinating for our visitors and it provoked a whole range of reactions. Now, I don't like all of them, but certainly um, I think they make you stop and look um, and, and the fact that they're so different from the historical things that are in the property makes you stop and, and want to look further at them. It's just been really surprising going into different rooms and, and I didn't know, when we first walked in and we saw, saw the, the one in the, in the foyer, it just thought that was a one-off, but then it sort of like went into different rooms. It's been a <laughs> sensation, really a sensation. It's been lovely. The partnership with Meadow Arts works really well for us because we can go out to our visitors and, and our members and say, we haven't spent your money, membership money, trust money, if you like, on a piece of contemporary art. We're working with another charity. They've brought the art in and they provide the artistic input and the knowledge. What we're providing is the fantastic location. We're like a gallery for the people of Shropshire. Previously, the Arts Council was mainly responsible for contemporary art but with the museums coming into its, its sort of portfolio of activities, then we also have to have more of a direct engagement with heritage and with historic collections. And again, the National Trust having shown successfully how contemporary art can be blended with the historic context and historic collections provides a really good example for museums to follow in, in thinking about how they might um, offer a new dimension to their collections work. The Trust has just come through a large restructure which has completely changed how we work. We've got a big vision towards 2020 
uh, wanting everybody to feel like a member of the National Trust and ensure that 5 million are to build from our current 3.9 or so million members. So this pushes us to work in new and more interesting and innovative ways. We recognise that we need to reach more people and that actually bringing places to life is a big part of that strategy and that Contemporary Art can do a lot for us in that area.